If you are familiar with running a blog, then you are familiar with post categories as a way to organize your blog post. So here inside of our blog builder, we have the post categories section. And when you click on that, you can see right now we don't have any categories. So I'm gonna click on add post categories. The first thing we need to do is give this a name. So I'm gonna call this sports. The slug is going to be automatically created for you, but you can change it if you want to. If you wanna give it a parent category or not, and a description for this category. So I'm gonna say blog post related to sports and click on create category. And now just like that, we have a category for our blog post. And now if I go back to our blog post and I go to add a new post, we are going to see under the categories that we now have the sports section there. And that works the same way with the post tags. So if I click on post tags, we don't have any right now. I'm gonna click on add new. We're gonna call this one LeBron James, for example. My slug is automatically created, but I can change that if I want to. And for the description, we're gonna say post related to LeBron James. And we're gonna create the tag. So now when I go back to my post again, and I go to edit my post, we have the category is sports, and the tag I can say is LeBron James because this individual post could be talking about LeBron James. And then another tag I could say is basketball. And then another tag could be the Cleveland Cavaliers because that's the team he plays for and so forth. 